Ethiopia, then Nigeria. The 800 meters, semi-final one for men. And this is tough. Robinson of the United States, Joachim Cruz of Brazil, Mike Solomon of Trinidad, Dupont of France, Asman of West Germany, no place for Juan Torino, who was out injured, Kalinkin of the Soviet Union, and Hillard of Australia. And they line up in a race where they know for certain that only the first two, plus the two fastest losers from three races, three semi-finals they're calling them, can go through to the final. Victor Kalinkin from lane seven going to cut across and James Robinson who usually hangs back the American who's wearing the long white socks but he's going to the front and he's got Mike Solomon with him and this tall Brazilian Joachim Cruz in yellow now Joachim Cruz is a renowned front runner he hasn't got a sprint finish there he is six feet two of him and Joachim Cruz is 20 years of age he attends the University of Oregon he won the national collegiate title he's the youngest of six children and he's one of the recent crop of very good Brazilian half-milers to occur. Victor Kalinkin takes the bell first, though. And as he come up, it was 50.61 of 400 metres. He's the winner of the Spartakiada, the great festival of sport and games held in the Soviet Union behind the Iron Curtain. James Robinson is third at the moment with a bit of running to do. And Joachim Cruz gets past Victor Kalinkin. And Cruz goes away and pulls Robinson of America with him. Kalinkin hanging on to the American, but uh, no doubt about it, if Cruz goes on like this, then the others, all they've got to do is follow and try and stay with the pace. It lends itself to a fast kicker to pick him up at the finish, but does he run the steam out of them all? Apparently he does, because he comes off that final bend looking so strong. The Frenchman Dupont is closing on Kalinkin, as Joaquin Cruz gets to the line first from James Robinson, then it's the Frenchman in blue, Dupont, and Kalinkin of the Soviet Union, and he must wait to see how fast the others are run. Meanwhile, Willie Banks over there with a big smile on his face, entertaining them in the triple jump. That's the result. Joaquin Cruz of Brazil, 145-62, running from the front. Robinson, Dupont, Kalinkin. The second semi-final, Kolev of Bulgaria, Koskai of Kenya, Gomaris of Brazil, Trubado of Spain, and they're coming up to the bell. And it's the Kenyan that's leading, Sami Koskai, and Gary Cook of Great Britain is on his shoulder. And we've got another good Brazilian, Gomaris, wearing yellow. Then the Spaniard is in there. The Spaniard is Colomon Trubado. Not quite as fast, but almost the same sort of time. Big Willy Woolbeck of West Germany. He's about uh, six feet two. Um, and he gets a pass the outside. He goes past Koski and blocks him off. And Koski can do little about it. And uh, look at the run. David Mack of America trying to get past, but it's still Guimaraes of Brazil holding off Woolbeck. Woolbeck pulls out and upsets the American and gets across his path. But Woolbeck for West Germany is going to finish ahead of Guimaraes. Guimaraes, I think, may hang on to second. And that's Maraggio of France finishing fast in third and David Mack in fourth. Watch this run to the line. Willy Woolbeck, 28 now, the West German, forces himself to the front. And he takes with him Guimaraes over on the far side who only just makes it. Does he? I think he does. And then it was France, Maraggio and David Mack in fourth. All that confirmed. The winner's time, 146.21. Wagenknecht, the tall East German, lines up on the inside in this third semi-final. Remember, only two plus two fastest losers. And that's Peter Elliott taking the bell. And that's 50.70 with Rod Druppers of Holland behind him. Then we've got uh, a West German there. And this is quite a battle. Rod Druppers following, Hans-Peter Ferner is the West German, the tall East German is Wagenknecht, they've got away, and this is a bold piece of front running from Peter Elliott of Great Britain, only 20. Druppers is on his outside, the tall Dutchman, but he can't get past. Wagenknecht even taller at 6 feet 4, he can't get past, and locked in there is the European champion Hans-Peter Ferner of West Germany. The rest can do little about it, although David Patrick of the United States of America, all in red, is making a spirited run for the line. 
and Elliott really bravely and boldly has let a gap open up and on the inside hands Peter Ferner brushing his way through Ferner may get to the line but look at this finish by the American David Patrick Elliott's going to be third Ferner was first the American was second and Drubbers had to finish him fourth and that was a good run from the European champion watch him force his way to the line on the inside Peter Elliott of Great Britain's head going back he hasn't seen David Patrick uh, very very strong he's a former 400 meter hurdler gets to the line in second place there and goes on to the final Ferner 145.24 David Patrick 145.30 and Peter Elliott will make it with that time to the final of 145.5 now the triple jump and what a triple jump it's been 6-1-7 is Hoffman of Poland and he's found new life and he's found performance he's never done before this is following in the lines of the great Josef Schmidt who twice took the uh, Olympic title twice European champion and set a world record the Poles haven't had a great triple jumper since then but they've found one in this 23 year old who takes the lead that really is the most tremendous jump the challenge comes back from Agbibaku of Nigeria long low and fast and spreads his effort over that even rhythm and is delighted with that with 17 meters and 18 centimeters and Willie Banks on 17 18 has to try and come back from that six feet three and a half Banks the lawyer oh it's been quite a performance from Banks but I think he's got a red flag and that's why the frustration and disappointment is on his face he says let me have a white flag please now the competition is over this young man has won it Zladislav Hoffman of Poland and this is quite remarkable because he's got one jump left but he's the only man to jump and he leads with 17 meters 35 which is 56 feet 11 and a half and the whole crowd are cheering them on to see if he can go even further in the last round good on the board nicely rhythm oh and that is even longer and he can't believe it what an extraordinary piece of jumping he's jumped out of his socks better than he's ever jumped before no wonder there's a big smile on his face he's world champion with 17 meters and 42 centimeters 57 feet 2 and he's been raising his standards jump after jump after jump and Poland has a second gold medal from these world championships a second one they couldn't have expected but they've come very good on the day Hoffman thanks the crowd for their support and Willie Banks goes over to congratulate him it's been one of those competitions which neither will ever forget Hoffman then wins for Poland from Willie Banks Agbi Baku of Nigeria, Mike Connolly out of the medals for the United States, but look at that, the first six men.